Hey, what's up family? It's your girl African Export. Welcome to the Realist channel. A lot of you guys saw my review of the Carol's Daughter Hold and Control Smoother and a lot of you guys were asking is it similar to the Organic Root Stimulators Edge Control? I like to use these kind of pomades for my edges especially when, when I'm rocking something like a lace front. You can see my edges are looking real au naturel and naked right now. So we're about to put them up against each other. Now, a lot of you guys are very price conscious. You guys want something that's effective, that may cost a little bit less. We will just go ahead and see the two together. This is the Carol's Daughter Hold and Control. Um, this is approximately $20 to $22. It's kind of a clear pomade. Uh, very, very little goes a long way. Now this is the Organic Root Simulator Edge Control. Also a clear pomade, it's not completely translucent, it does have a tint to it, okay? Each of the products on my temple, so you will be able to see if I can get the same results, similar results, or if one doesn't compare to the other. Or pull this hair back, okay? I've got flyaway wig, but for the sake of this, you'll get the idea. Woo, these edges look rough. I'll use the Carol's Daughter on my right side, your left side probably. And I will use the ORS Edge Control. I'm gonna start off with just that little bit. This is the Carol's Daughter. Like I said, very, very little goes a long way. I will zoom in and I'm just going to place a little bit on the edge and rub my fingers over it for smooth, smooth finish. Okay. Just a little teeny bit more. I have very hard to hold and hard to control edges. Might I add, smells amazing. Okay. The ORS, it smells okay. Um, kind of reminds me Kind of reminds me of the pudding that they have. Okay, there you go. You see that? It's very short, but I'm gonna apply a little bit on this. Okay, it is looking it down. I, I use very little. Okay, here's my Carol's daughter side. Here is the ORS. It's been a few minutes and the ORS is lifting. My Carol's daughter is still intact. Okay, so for the purpose of the demonstration, I'll let both of the products kind of chill for a couple of minutes, let some time lapse, and then we'll see and compare each other over a course of time. Let me get my clip. I'm gonna clip back my hair, and the results, in my opinion, are quite obvious as far as which one seems to do a better job. 15 minutes later, Carol's daughter is still very smooth, sleek, and shiny, and we have a lot of the bead of bead starting to do its thing and curl back up. This is almost back to the way it looked before. All right, and Carol's daughter has held me down. <laughs> Keep in mind, ladies, that I am 100% natural. My hair type is very um, coarse, especially around the nape and the perimeter. If you have a relaxer and your hair is uh, chemically treated, laying your hair down, smoothing your hair is not quite as difficult as naturally curly or kinky hair types. So the edge control, in my opinion, will not get the job done for long lasting hold for me. Um, so this is $22. Um, I use very little, so a little goes a long way. The organic root stimulator edge control, you know, it, it looked pretty and it looked cute at first, but it just, 
absolutely is not going to hold down my hair. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this kind of battle of the brands. So um, I'll talk to you guys real, real soon. Keep it real until next time. Peace. Hugs. Mm.